What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are on Empire's SMP. So this is the spawn of Empire's. Right here is the uh, Emperor rule book and right here is the Road Builders Guild. Uh, this was the build that Flip did in one of the last episodes uh, where everybody had to build a road to either spawn or to another Empire. So from here, we can go ahead and follow one of these roads to the rest of the empires. Ooh, look at that loading in. Looks incredible. That looks like Scott's empire over there. Uh, just this way should be uh, Joey's somewhere over here. I haven't actually explored the world yet. So this is the first time I will be exploring the world, as well as you guys. Uh, this is Mythical Sausage's uh, castle that he built for um, the chicken. I cannot remember the chicken's name right now. Oh my god. So we're going to start today off in Mythland. Uh, spawn is just that way, and Mythland Empire, of course, covered in blood sheep, looks incredible. So that's the giant castle that Mythical Sausage worked on for the later half of the season. You can see all these beautiful builds that he worked on. Uh, I really love all the detailing that he put into this world. He did so much work. You can see there's so many builds throughout here. I believe this greenhouse over here, the one with all the glass uh, right there. That was the final build he did. The last one I remember him building before the end of the season. Uh, but it really is such an incredible empire. Uh, you can also see the wall over here. And uh, Solidarity's empire just in the background, the Codfather. Also over here we have the arena uh, where Mythical Sausage dueled. Uh, this is a classic spot from the empire's season. And then just over here we have Pearlescent Moon's base. This thing is incredible. This huge beanstalk. Of course, this came pretty late in the season. Uh, the main parts of her build were down here. Uh, she's got, you know, uh, her villager trading hall, her brewing building, all that sort of stuff, her farm. This, though, looks really, really cool. I absolutely love the look of that. And then... Just over here, this is where uh, Flip stole the crown from Catherine Elizabeth. He killed her right off the top of the Goat Mountain right there. And then you can see right in the background over here, we are getting into Catherine's Empire. So this is the beautiful Flower Empire. This is from when uh, LD Shadow Lady decided to make it a rule that you could only eat cake. Uh, Catherine Elizabeth decided to build up this small little cake. Uh, with a chicken and cow on top because those are the animals you need in order to actually make cake. So anyway, this is Catherine's Empire, which I think looks really, really cool. I absolutely love uh, the connection of all the colors that the empires have. They really tied their empires together very well. I think this treehouse build is one of my favorites. I love how the uh, little house on top there is tied so well in with the rest of the tree. And then, of course, Catherine's mega base uh, out here on this huge floating island. I think this is a really cool looking build. She did a lot of work getting this whole thing terraformed and then also getting, of course, the castle on top. This thing looks really great. So then over here we have Scott's Empire. This thing is pretty cool looking. Absolutely love all these snow and ice spikes that of course form throughout the season as Scott developed his powers. I'm not too sure where he went to build his new house and find the sword. Uh, I believe it's somewhere that way. I could be entirely wrong though. Definitely a different section of the world than this though. Uh, but this empire looks really incredible. This one has a bunch of secret rooms which we saw throughout the season as the storyline progressed. This is the Rainbow Road that leads over to uh, Catherine's Empire. Lots of fun memories of this empire. Of course, uh, Mythical Sausage had a vision of blowing this place up. 
and so much more happened here as the story progressed uh, of course scott was zornoth's brother and so that connected him in a way and then he also developed these ice abilities uh which started to take over his empire a little bit and of course flip built a balloon so that he could keep an eye on everything that was happening over here so then right over in the jungle here we have mangrovia i believe that is the name of it this was the empire that was created during the love tropics uh charity stream and so basically people could pay to either have trees built bridges built or buildings things like that and all that money was raised uh while building this empire and they also uh put in some names of who was doing the donations uh, to kind of keep track and thank whoever actually donated that money. Uh, just a small little empire, a great way uh, to actually do a charity stream. I think this was a really good idea, and it turned out really well, and they added a new little section to their, to their world. Now we are getting over into Joey Grasefa's base right here with his uh, earth, air, fire, and water temples. This whole area was really cool looking. Flip will also be over here. Or maybe this side. I absolutely love the jungle builds and I think this one fits in really well. All the trees really dominate this area still. This one uh, has the mountain terraformed around it, of course, which is really cool looking. Uh, then there's the water temple over here. Little tree house there. The earth temple here which he did the front part of and this is also where on my screen they're going to show up as horses but uh on his data pack they actually showed up as raptors which was a fun continuation throughout the season and then of course the air temple floating up there uh right over there is shovel's empire but we are going to go over and check out flips first what basically was creating destruction from the Grim Lands, and of course this guy was marching off, destroying the land behind him. Over here we have a watchtower and some beautifully terraformed mountains. Of course this is also the train track that he built uh, when he was no longer able to use the elytra. And then up here there is, I believe, a salmon sanctuary. Yep full of salmon in this beautiful little lake up here. Uh, but now let's go check out the Grimlands. Right here was uh, his mob farm that he worked on throughout the season, uh, which produced all the gunpowder and things like that that he would need. And now the Grimlands. This base is so cool looking. I love the terraform job that he did around this entire thing, uh, especially underneath the giant castle section over there. Uh, this is such a cool base. Walls around the whole thing, different buildings. He, of course, had his storage room, villager trading, all that within here. And then his mega base in the background here. This was a huge project for him, uh, mostly because he had to build the castle and then also terraform all this dripstone down here, uh, which required a lot of villager trading and also a dripstone farm, which, if you remember, he built back here, and he initially built it wrong, which was, of course, hilarious. Inside here is, of course, the forage where the crown was made for the emperors of the server. Uh, that crown changed hands so many times throughout the season, but this is where it was originally made. Just over there, we have the Crystal Cliffs, uh, Gemini Tay's empire, and yeah, we'll check out Shubble's empire first. Lovely little road here heading over to Shovel's Empire. Uh, there's also that bridge there. There is also another pathway from uh, Joey's to uh, Shovel's. It's through the water. And there is, yep, there's this pathway right here, which goes up a little waterfall and right into the heart of the Empire. So this is the giant mushroom base right here. I really like this base. It looks so cool. Uh, and then there is also, down here was another section of her base. Uh, you're able to look up at the sky. There's a ton of giant mushrooms, things like that down here. This down here is the mineshaft uh, that Shovel worked on. 
it has a little bit of crystals and then also this mushroom area where we originally dropped down and then the other side leads back into a part of her base this whole thing i think is super cool looking though a little weird seeing it now without all these zornoth crystals and everything floating over here especially the giant eye that was there uh early on in the season when they were originally battling zornoth so now let's head back across Flip's Empire and go check out the Crystal Cliffs. Here we have the Crystal Cliffs Empire built by Gemini Tay. Dragons flying around the wizard tower up there. The giant wizard school that she worked on. This was her mega base of the season and also where she uh, helped Scott with his magic and also gave a little training to Flip, LD Shadow Lady, Mythical Sausage, and some of the others. This empire looks really cool. I love the placement of the amethyst around like on this fountain. Also, uh, the... Also, the use of the chorus fruit trees is really cool. It adds a lot to this empire because uh, it ties in so well with all the amethyst. Uh, there is just so many cool little builds throughout this entire thing. I think these dragons look incredible, especially circling uh, the wizard tower. Just adds a really cool effect to this entire empire. So I believe there are only three empires left that we haven't taken a look at so far. And that would be LD Shadow Lady, Solidarity, and of course, Smallish Beans with the Mazalian Empire. So we're going to head back across this way. I think they're going to be over here, or at least Smallish Beans is. Oh, and of course, Pixandria. We haven't gone and checked out Pixandria. So here we are in one of the most creative empires on the server or some of the most creative building that I've seen in Minecraft. This is the Mazalian Empire. I absolutely love the colors and everything that was used in this empire. It's something that I've really never seen before in Minecraft. All this use of concrete and terracotta. It really made this base just look so cool looking. This thing uh, he worked on throughout the entirety of the season uh, because it is absolutely massive. It's sometimes hard to understand scale in Minecraft, but this thing is hundreds of blocks tall and wide. It is so cool looking. You can see inside here, of course, there are the two embassies, one for LD Shadow Lady and one for Solidarity. Uh, I absolutely, I love that embassy just built a small little house in here. Yeah, if you want some idea of scale, this is a normal size, eh, it's a bit bigger, eh, a bit smaller, villager house. And that is just one small square section of the rest of this huge, huge base. There's, of course, the throne. And then behind all that, there is this storage system huge automated storage system and actually we're gonna do something we're gonna break through here just because i want to see the inside of this thing which also looks incredibly cool with the shaders i have on uh if you're interested in this shader pack or you like the way it looks it's the complementary shaders they're basically the only ones i use uh makes everything look so cool especially all the lighting on the inside of this huge, huge base. So, of course, a lot of this base didn't get finished. It was absolutely massive and the season was coming to an end and he really didn't want to fill up the inside of the base or finish off the terraforming needed on the back here, which is totally understandable given that this base is absolutely massive. There's also some more bits of the Mazalian Empire. This, of course, was the mega base. Over here, though, he built all this at the beginning of the season. Uh, he had a storage room, of course, the concrete factory over there, uh, custom trees that he worked on, all built throughout the season, and they all look so cool. I absolutely love the colors of this empire. Now we can actually... Take this road over here, which is going to lead us right into LD Shadow Lady's Empire. This is the Ocean Empire, of course. Um, 
lovely little build by Catherine over there. You can see there's embassies uh, on here. And then also, of course, the bakery, things like that, small little islands around. This, of course, is LD Shadow Lady's base. It looks so cool looking. And I believe there is some stuff underwater as well that we can check out. I believe it's over on this side. There should be an underwater zoo somewhere. Ah, here it is. So LD Shadow Lady's base is right up there. And then down here, she has a lovely little underwater zoo. I think this is a really cool idea, having all these different animals trapped in air cages underneath the water. Such a cool looking idea. And it's really nice to just swim underneath the huge base you can see above. This staircase then, of course, leads right up into the towers. Uh, cuts off into that tower, which apparently needs a little more lighting to keep the mobs out. And then up here, we have the main part of her base. And here we have the storage room. And then this is also how she keeps the coral actually alive on the outside here. You can see this inside of the dome is filled with water and, of course, with axolotls as well. Also seems there is a wolf swimming up at the top here, of course. So now from here, that road goes back to uh, the Mazelian Empire that you can see. Let's actually follow this road. We'll follow this one in a second and go check out Pixandria. That's where we'll end off. But now let's go check out the Cod Empire. This road was built by Jimmy. Uh, he wanted to build a slime and lime green glass road, but then realized he didn't want to do that all the way up to her base because that would look disgusting. But I think it does look really cool along the border of the mountains as it leads all the way back to the Cod Empire and also to Mythland. So here we have Jimmy's empire. This thing looks so cool. I love that the biggest build in this empire is, of course, Smallish Bean's statue, uh, where he's holding the body of a salmon, of course, as this is the Cod Empire. We, of course, have the Cod statue here, a bunch of little builds around, some great memories from this empire. Of course, the wall was a huge memory as... Uh, him and Mythical Sausage competed to build the bigger wall at the beginning of the season. Uh, Jimmy actually ended up winning that, and his wall does encompass uh, three sides of his empire. He also went AFK once, and Flip and Small Beans put him up in this plane. Uh, lots of fun things happen throughout this season in this empire. Of course, there's also uh, some small hidden rooms uh, where the Cod Father Council met and made him the Cod Boy instead of the Cod Father. Uh, lots, lots and lots of fun things in this empire, especially these little statues here. Of course, uh, Pixel Rifts built one, Scott, Smallish Beans, and Catherine all built little statues on this side of the empire. Now we're going to go ahead and go back to the Ocean Empire and follow the pathway built by LD Shadow Lady that heads off to apparently just the sunset. But I assume Pixandria is also somewhere in the distance here. So Pixel Rifts built a lot in his empire before he took off from the server. Uh, 1.18 came out and he wanted to start working on his survival guide series again. So he put all his time and energy into that to get out daily episodes. I love that this is fixed up with glass. This looks pretty cool looking. So much is going on in this empire. It looks so good with all the uh, pathways and everything. Uh, the shrubberies on the side I think looks so good and really make this desert empire really cool. Back here is the mega base that he was working on that unfortunately did not get finished uh, because he took time off from the server, but it was well on its way to completion. He was working on streams to build up the sides of this, which are a mixture of dripstone, sandstone, and so much more. There's even some woods in there. A lot went into uh, this build. Such a cool gradient. I would have really loved to see this thing finished. Uh, he did say that he gives permission for anybody to come and finish up his base. 
So that would be very cool to see if somebody actually finished up this base and made it extremely cool looking. But this is where we are ending off our world tour of the Empire server. That is all the Empires, and it was such a fun season watching all the things that they had going on play out. They have already said that they will be doing a Season 2, so that's going to be really fun to watch for as well. I think it's going to be coming out later this year. They're going to be doing some other projects uh, in the meantime. So definitely stay tuned for that. And of course, we will be recapping Season 2 the same way that we recapped Season 1. So be sure to check out our channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well so you can check out all the rest of our Minecraft content. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.